Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for October 26, 2018. Hope you're all having an excellent week in the financial markets, and as always, we have plenty to cover. Uh, we're going to start here with Eastman Chemical. We've got Owens Corning, Textron, ITT, and also Southern Company. Uh, so really continuing on with a lot of the weakness we've seen uh, throughout the equity space, we have Eastman Chemical here. Uh, and what we have here are daily bars and candles. This is all daily bar and candle price action going all the way back towards really the end of September, beginning of October. Uh, and you see here against those daily bars, you have a, a black line there, also a blue line. Uh, we also have a red or green uh, indicator here at the bottom. Uh, and we're also given a predicted high and low range uh, that really rounds out the entirety of these forecasts. But looking just against the price data here, what we have with this black line uh, is a regular or actual simple moving average. So a very common technical indicator. It'll just plot past prices and average them all together. Uh, and what we're comparing that value to is this blue value on the chart. And that blue value is generated via the artificial intelligence and neural networks found within this vantage point software. So what it's actually doing is utilizing and creating actually predictive data from that uh, neural network process and incorporating that into these indicators to create forward-looking predictive indicators. So when we have that blue line or that blue predicted moving average, in this case, cross below the actual moving average in value, that's saying, look, the trend is now to the downside. You want to look for opportunities, in this case, to short. Uh, but we're also given, again, this uh, neural index is what this is called at the bottom of the screen. And this is an extremely accurate 48-hour indicator. So every single day, it's either going to be red or green. And it lets you know, okay, well, there's strength over the next 48 hours and you see you get a little bit of a the trend uh, consolidating and the market going sideways and a little bit higher but that blue line is still below the black line and the overall trend is still to the downside you see it again here you get a little bit of a bounce and some higher highs coming through in the price action but that blue line that predicted moving average as long as it's still below the actual moving average suggesting look the trend is now still to the downside and lastly, we're given a predicted high and low range. So you can really think of this as you're getting the overall trend direction from that predicted uh, moving average, short-term strength or weakness from the predicted neural index, and also a predicted high and low range to really round out, okay, well, what should you be doing in the market? And of course, if the you know trend is down, you'd want to look for uh, areas to short the market. And you see how these predicted levels adapt moving forward through time. So as we get more information as the market trades forward, these levels are going to adapt and shift with that changing volatility, but always be adapting and letting you know, okay, well, for your trading style and your approach, whether you're short term or intraday, uh, a swing trader, where do you want to be looking to take your positions? And so a swing trader will come in and look to short the market, uh, but of course can look to those predicted high and low levels to adjust the position. So knowing when to add, you know, add to those shorts, um, uh, when to go ahead and, you know, adjust the overall position size that you have. But you see this market down over 22% in just the past 20 trading days. So a really great place to be to take advantage of that market weakness. Uh, but additionally, again, remembering that, you know, these predicted levels are great for intraday traders. So day traders can come in and say, okay, well, I want to short up at these predicted highs, but of course, target my move to the downside uh, as far as those limits and profit targets you may set in the market. So uh, moving on here, Owens uh, Corning. So, you know, in sort of the industrial and material space, there's been a lot of weakness really all throughout the equities, uh, but you see a lot of these markets really getting clobbered here. So you see this uh, blue line crosses below the black line, uh, neural index down at a zero here. Uh, and again, as we look so, you know, and understand, okay, well, we want to be looking for opportunities to short the market. Where can we look as far as price? we can look towards those predicted high and low levels. And you see how these adjust with each and every trading day, you get a new close and these levels will readjust for you. So you can deal with volatility, deal with those changing market conditions. But you see just, you know, banging up against these levels just day after day after day and providing really great intraday levels to short as the trend is obviously to the downside. You see, you know, almost a dozen or more uh, opportunities to short this market and take advantage of that overall market weakness. Uh, but more recently, things getting really nasty here. And if you want to take advantage of that move, of course, you can make some money shorting over this several, you know, couple months and use those profits to remain short and get involved in this 27% decline uh, in Owens Corning in just the past 26 trading days. So a little bit over a month time, uh, this market's moved, uh, let's see, $16 per share uh, to the downside. 
Uh, here's Textron. Uh, same thing, you get this crossover to the downside, you start to see this separation uh, and suggesting, look, you wanna go ahead and look to get short in these markets. It's coming through a little bit more recently towards uh, really the beginning and midpoint of October. Uh, but again, looking towards those predicted ranges to say, okay, well, where can I accept a position? So a swing trader, where can I look to set that overall position and remain short as long as that blue line remains below the black line? But then for intraday traders, you know, where do you want to, you know, get short? How do you want to adjust your position as this market trades and moves forward? Uh, so you understand, look, remain with the overall trend uh, market from that initial move and those initial predicted highs getting hit. This market down 27 percent uh, just in the past 14 trading days. Uh, and so you'll see these areas where, you know, neural index comes up. You get not much sideways. You see more separation between that neural index there. Uh, uh, or a predicted moving average, here it pops up and you get a little bit of a consolidation, but look how far the prediction is away from that actual moving average. So it's saying the trend is very much to the downside for a swing trade, you wanna hold on to those overall positions and make sure you don't miss out on, you know, really the best part of that move is that market in you know six trading days uh, gives up, a, you know, it's almost eight, $9 per share uh, to the downside. They're actually a little bit more than that, about $15 per share uh, just in a few days. Uh, ITT here. So again, more of these uh, industrial areas where you're just seeing, you know, all of these markets show this weakness at the same time in line with the S&P and all these other stocks and uh, highlighting some areas to go ahead and get short. So again, we see very similarly crossover to the downside. Uh, you get a little bit of a consolidation and sideways action. But again, that predicted moving average well below the actual moving average and moving lower each and every trading day uh, as this market moves forward, letting you know, look, the Predicted moving average getting lower and lower, remain short and make sure you, you know, hold that position, get the most, uh, uh, as far as that overall trend move uh, and make sure you get a part of that 24% move to the downside so far uh, and things looking, you know, pretty bleak here. And you know, until we get some signals that there's going to be some strength, uh, makes sense to hold on to those moves and take advantage of these uh, uh, trends and overall weakness. Uh, lastly, we're on it here on Southern Company. So one of the few spaces we looked at, you know, things like ABX and the gold miners over the past month have, you know, had some bullishness in areas where you can get long. Uh, utilities here, we also had a lot of crossovers to the upside. Here you see in Southern Company over the past month here saying, okay, well, you know, there's not a whole lot of areas at all to get long in the market. Uh, but here in Southern Company, you have that crossover pretty strong to the upside. Uh, you have your neural index, you get a little bit of consolidation here, but the overall trend still very much to the upside and you want to maintain those long positions. Uh, we can, of course, uh, what I really, you know, love about, uh, you know, the, the technology here is, you know, the ability of these levels to adapt. So you see how this trend uh, is moving to the upside, you're hitting these predicted highs, but look how these predicted lows, which you know before the trading day occurs, notice how this predicted low gets lower, letting you know, hey, expect the market to trade down here. Next day saying, okay, well, expect the market to trade down here, uh, and then things start to move higher again. So you can say, okay, well, as long as I'm you know, staying in line with that overall trade that I'm going for, stay in line with the overall trend, and then make these adjustments so that you can get those good intraday price levels uh, but not get stopped out, you know, not have your stop sitting right inside that predicted low. That's a great area for you to go ahead and actually be a buyer in the market and uh, get involved in this pretty nice move to the upside uh, in the utility space here. So you see pretty nice move, uh, about five, six percent move to the upside, uh, you know, in a market where everything's been getting killed about, you know, 20 percent. These uh, uh, companies here uh, over the past month, markets really getting clobbered uh, and make sense to go ahead, buy some puts, short the shares, get some protection and make some money uh, as this volatility comes into the market. So uh, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Best of luck out to the traders out there in the markets. Once again, this has been our Hot Stocks Outlook for October 26, 2018. Thank you all for watching. Thanks again and bye for now.